Well, hello. I'm Champ Cartel. This is HOC Station, and this is... Chuchi the Goddess. Okay, and we would like to talk to y'all about mental health. And, like, recognizing mental health problems and what are mental health problems exactly. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it and get started. It says, what are mental health problems? A variety of terms used to describe mental health problems, mental disorder, series of... Serious, serious emotional disorder, extreme emotional disorder, psychiatric illness, mental illness, nervous exhaustion, mental breakdowns, nervous breakdowns, and burnt out. Slang terms include crazy, psycho, mad, loony, nuts, and cracked up, and wacko. All right. So I've also done just a little bit of my research in regards to finding like a good article that could possibly like break down mental health so what I have is sort of kind of says mental health includes our emotional our psychological social well-being it affects how we think feel and act it also helps determine how we handle stress and like related to how we relate to others and make choices um, mental health is important at every stage of life from childhood to adolescence all the way to adulthood and so it also talks about like factors that contribute to like mental health problems such as biological factors such as like your genes and your brain chemistry um, life experiences such as trauma or abuse family history of like mental health problems um, so I guess like when we come to like break down like mental health like the overall picture that i get is just basically like life i mean i really feel like you can't i mean when it comes to mental health i feel like it comes from like the things that you do like on a daily basis whether like um you're having a good day a bad day like all those little and something as small as that can contribute to your overall like mental health like how you feel how you're going about your day how you handle mm -hmm. certain situations so that's social, so mm -hmm. social, you know, so you got to be socially intact, in tune, you got to be around people, and then what really determines on how they develop, if you got a mental health disorder or not, is how you react to the situations, and the things that's at hand every day, which every individual is faced with different activities and different um, situations every day so it matters how you react to that situation to for a person to determine what stage of mental health you on or even if you got a stage of mental health so just stay calm stay cool stay collective thinking before you react those are simple things just to um, keep you in line of not having a mental health disorder or any emotions or anything like that. And um, we can just talk about a few topics that um, one of the biggest causes and one of the biggest numbers and statistics of um, mental health. Like what are the exact type of mental health disorders that's the biggest in the percentage percentages in adults? So um, we looking at anxiety disorders. That's 18.1% in adults. Major depressive disorders, 6.8% in adults. Substance disorder, I mean substance use disorder, 8.1% in adults. Bipolar disorder, 2.8% in adults. Eating disorder, Five to ten percent in adults. What's that one? I can't pronounce it. Schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. um, zero point three to zero point seven. Any mental health disorder. Eighteen point five percent in adults. Oh. That's high. Yeah. And um, I started getting. I had written down like a few signs. It says like early warning signs of like how to look for to know if you're dealing with any type of like mental health issues or disorder. Um, so I have a list. It looks about like a good 10 to 15, but I'm going to read them off to you. So um, eating or sleeping too much or too little, pulling away from people and unusual activities, having low or no energy, 
feeling numb or like nothing matters, having unexplained aches and pains, feeling helpless or hopeless, smoking, drinking, or using drugs more than usual, feeling unusually confused, forgetful, on edge, angry, upset, worried, scared, yelling or fighting with families and friends, experiencing severe mood swings that cause problems in relationships, having persistent thoughts and memories you can't get out your head, usually tied to like trauma or yeah. something that has basically affected you in a way that you experience certain triggers when something happens and sort of kind of trigger you to react in a certain way. Um, hearing voices or believing things that are not true, thinking of harming yourself or others. And if that is the case, please also seek a professional help because... Talk to a friend or anything. Yes, before actually taking those steps to hurt yourself or others. Um, inability to perform daily tasks, such as like caring for your kids, getting to work or school, just anything that you do up on a daily, even cleaning your house can also be a sign of like you experiencing uh, maybe like a mal symptom of men a mental health issue depression or anything that's one of the biggest ones that gets us as a black you know as a black culture as a black community as being a black male anything we face with poverty we traumatize um, just by growing up in poverty and just seeing the ill things that people say that's normal that's not normal Right. We're going up in unnormal environments, and then you got to adapt to your environment. Then you're a product of your environment. So, you know, it's like you're trapped in. So how do you get out of this situation mentally, physically, and everything else? Financially, it all starts with your mental. Because if your mental is not aligned, then your physical health is not aligned. Because it all starts with your mental health, then your physical health. And then you can line everything else up along with that financial, whatever, everything else is in order. But your mental health has to be straight and got to be able to function on a daily basis, no matter what circumstances, situations, highs and lows, it doesn't matter. You got to be able to function and jump back into reality. And then just to capitalize on something that you spoke on, talking about, um, suicide and stuff like that and people's thinking ill thoughts okay so the the way that that goes first of all if you are thinking anything suicidal reach out to a friend please family member anybody you feel close with talking to and opening up to because that's something very um sentimental and that's something very dangerous not just to yourself but to everyone and mainly to yourself of course but um we would like to help and reach out. So we, we're able to be reached by email, by Facebook, by Instagram, whatever way that you can find out, a way that you can reach out to us. we definitely here to talk. Yes, we'll be your friend, okay, right. because um, I just wanted to sort of kind of speak on the fact that when it comes to, like, mental health, I feel like a lot of people don't want to say that they're dealing with it or... Right. Um, something may be wrong with them because labeled. nobody really wants to be labeled or have that stigma put on them they're like oh something is really wrong with me I need to like it's, it's it don't even have to be that severe by all means if one is sort of kind of acting out of control or can't really um, function can't think and they're displaying like a certain behavior then by all means yes you may have to actually go see a professional to actually seek maybe medical um medication or talking to a therapist that. but we're sort of kind of wanting to speak on mainly like the little male stuff the big stuff but also like the small stuff just okay you just went through maybe like a breakup in your relationship a lot of people don't know really how to handle those um types of situations too well it's so like mm -hmm. and so like something as small as that can contribute to your overall like mental health because for one whereas you may have i mean there's a list of why many relationships don't work out for those who don't deal with. Um, it maybe if you have like an attachment issue from like childhood where like you cling to people really well and you don't like being by yourself or alone, like those are the kind of could be like signs of like mental issues. But okay, ding ding ding. <laughs> 
but um, no, like you really want to have like somebody who you can trust in and call either a friend or just even as someone who's like older than you just to have somebody to just listen to you because I feel like nowadays everybody really needs to be heard when it comes to dealing with your issue because Definitely we not. can tend to keep that stuff bottled up into ourselves and to be they honest explode. yeah and there's not really the right reaction right, right. and even if you're dealing with something that you don't have the answers to you know like seek help and ask somebody like hey can you help tell me this or google get on your phone and you know google a few things because i mean mental health can really be like something serious if it's not taken care of if you feel like it's, it's good to isolate yourself from others like your social support your social setting is really like so important and with like going through this COVID stuff and all that and basically how you know we're limited to so many areas and really like schools not even in session so the kids are being right. affected in a way because I mean if you really don't have too many kids in your neighborhood that you could possibly like play with or something I mean it it can affect one tremendously but it's very important to have somebody to talk to it's not good to shut yourself down and isolate yourself. It's always good to be around um, good people and good places and 